practitioners might be able to use to learn to use what's happening in their own bodies yeah. their own sort of ethical barometers going off or their own um, triggers happening in order to to identify that question of is this person's autonomy being interfered with right now and if it is what can I do to acknowledge my own sort of part in that that act of self-reflection is incredibly important in practitioners being able to sort of step back and, and analyze what's going on for them um, because when we don't do that my belief is that we or we leave it as a burden for the other no matter what the relationship is with people if we when we don't aren't able to see something or own it for ourselves it naturally falls into the space of the other and so the more we can take responsibility for our own um, knowing ourselves and, and what happens to us, the better, the more healthy I think and the more, more useful that will be with working with people.